In July of 1911, a 35-year-old Yale graduate and professor set out from his rainforest camp with his team. After climbing a steep hill and wiping the sweat from his brow, he described what he saw beneath him. He saw rising from the dense rainforest foliage this incredible interlocking maze of structures built of granite, beautifully put together. What's amazing about this project is that it was the first funded by National Geographic, and it graced the front cover of its magazine in 1912. This professor. Use state-of-the-art photography equipment to record the site, forever changing the face of exploration. The site was Machu Picchu, discovered and explored by Hiram Bingham. When he saw the site, he asked, "This is an impossible dream. What could it be?" So, today, 100 years later, I invite you all. On an incredible journey with me, a 37-year-old Yale graduate and professor, <laughs> we will do nothing less than use state-of-the-art technology to map an entire country. This is a dream started by here in Bingham, but we are expanding it to the world, making archaeological exploration more open, inclusive, and at a scale simply not previously possible. This is why I am so excited to share with you all today that we will begin the 2016 TED Prize platform in Latin America, more specifically, Peru. Thank you. We will be taking here in Bingham's impossible dream and turning it into an amazing future. That we can all share in together. So Peru doesn't just have Machu Picchu; it has absolutely stunning jewelry, like what you can see here. It has amazing moche pottery, human figures. It has the Nazca lines and amazing textiles. So as part of the TED Prize platform, we're going to be partnering with some incredible organizations. First of all, with Digital Globe, the world's largest provider of high-resolution commercial satellite imagery. Um, they're going to be helping us build out this amazing crowdsourcing platform. They have maybe some of you used it with the MH370 uh, crash and search for the airplane. Of course, they'll also be providing us with the satellite imagery. National Geographic will be helping us with education and, of course, exploration. As well, they'll be providing us with rich content for the platform, including some of the archival imagery, like you saw at the beginning of this talk, and some of their uh, documentary footage. Uh, we've already begun to build and plan the platform, and I'm just so excited. So here's the cool part:、uh, my team, headed up by Chase Childs, is already beginning to look at some of the satellite imagery. Of course, what you can see here is 0.3 meter data. This is a site called Chan Chan in northern Peru. It dates to 850 AD. It's a really amazing city, but let's zoom in. This is the type and quality of data that you all will get to see.、Uh, you can see individual structures, individual buildings. And we've already begun to find previously unknown sites. What we can say already is that, as part of the platform, you will all help discover thousands of previously unknown sites, like this one here, and this potentially large one here. Unfortunately,、uh, we've also begun to uncover large-scale looting at sites, like what you see here. So many sites in Peru are threatened, but the great part is that all of this data is going to be shared with archaeologists on the front lines of protecting these sites. So I was just in Peru, meeting with their Minister of Culture as well as UNESCO. We'll be collaborating closely with them.、Um, just so you all know, the site is going to be in both English and Spanish, which is absolutely essential to make sure that people in Peru and across Latin America can participate.、Um, our main project co-principal investigator is the gentleman you see here, Dr. Luis Jaime Castillos, a professor at Catholic University. Um, as a respected Peruvian archaeologist and former vice minister,、uh, Dr. Castillos will be helping us coordinate and share the data with archaeologists so they can explore these sites on the ground. He also runs this amazing drone mapping program. Some of the images of which you can see behind me here and here, and this data will be incorporated into the platform. And also, he'll be helping to image some of the new sites you help find. Our on-the-ground partner,、uh, who will be helping us with education. 
outreach as well as site preservation components is a sustainable preservation initiative led by Dr. Larry Coben. Some of you may not be aware that some of the world's poorest communities coexist with some of the world's most well-known archaeological sites. What SPI does is it helps to empower these communities, in particular women, with new economic approaches and business training. So it helps to teach them to create beautiful handicrafts, which are then sold on to tourists. This empowers the women to treasure their cultural heritage and take ownership of it. I had the opportunity to spend some time with 24 of these women at a well-known archaeological site called Pachacamac, just outside Lima.、Uh, these women were unbelievably inspiring, and what's great is that SPI will help us transform communities near some of the sites that you helped to discover. Peru is just the beginning. We're going to be expanding this platform to the world, but already I've gotten thousands of emails from people all across the world, professors. Educators, students, and other archaeologists who are so excited to help participate. In fact, they're already suggesting、uh, amazing places for us to help discover, including Atlantis. Don't know if we'll be looking for Atlantis, but、uh, you never know.、Um, so I'm just so excited to launch this platform. It's going to be launched formally by the end of the year. And I have to say, if what my team has already discovered in the past few weeks are any indication. What the world discovers is just going to be beyond imagination. Make sure to hold on to your alpacas. Thank you very much. Thank you.